Uh, let's push into there. These troops are being taken by them. Um, let's try to wrap these guys up. Move them over there. Where are you guys all headed? Okay. Those guys are ready to rock and roll. Let's, let's move them up because the battle lines are no doubt going to be adjusted by the time those other units get there. Okay. Let's see how the let's see how the, how this all plays out. Japan is better alliance than France because Japan has better tech teams, so they are the obvious better better uh, crew. They're not better crew, but they're the obvious better uh, long term teammate. <laughs> And as soon as France loses the, uh, well, as soon as they lose France, they're pretty much done. Because Africa provides literally, like, almost nothing. I think every province in Africa, if brought together, provides maybe 10 industry? No, it's, it's probably more like 25 because of the, uh, because of South, South Africa. And even with South Africa, it doesn't provide much. All right, we're going to give this to Wilson BT because he's a lo he's a logistics wizard. Okay, let's bring this over to Dunkirk. Okay. Uh, where is everybody moving? All right, you're moving here. You are going to be counterattacking. Nope, you're not counterattacking anything. Okay, let's push into Vichy. Vichy, 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 Vichy. Okay. Maybe this was a stupid idea. Maybe it wasn't a stupid idea, but... Oh, well. Sue them for... For total peace, man. Yeah, we could take a lot out of them, but... I don't really want to do that. Okay, let's push. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Get get mechanized, boys. Okay. Okay. Send these units here. Yeah, this the, the battlefield is changing so much so quickly that those troops that I had didn't even get a chance to uh they did not even get a chance to, you know, get to the front lines b before the lines were actually pushed pushed uh back a little ways. So let us attack Vichy. Okay, that's gonna do that. Tabor is revolting. Oh well. What you gonna do when England comes for you? <laughs> the newest the the newest British colony is France. And you know what the, the best part is? Is we're a democracy, so the French people aren't going to be like, oh, French, French partisans. No, that's not going to happen, because the uh, the the game loves it when uh, democracies do uh, takeovers, but the part the partisans hate it when like authoritarian, you know, Stalinist or Nazi governments end end up taking over. So, the uh, the democratic governments get it really, really easy. Okay. What you gonna do when Britain comes for you? Oh shit, son. Fuck you. <laughs> oh shit. No way, man. No way. Alright, we just... And, and, and the last province that we took was Brest. <laughs> How funny is that? France wants to surrender. Okay, they're offering me peace. Um... They will again offer me peace very, very soon, so I'm going to leave my troops, or I'm going to take all of- FUCKING HELL! I don't want your goddamn expeditionary fucking forces. Don't give them to me. I do not want them, I do not need them. Keep them out of my sight, Spain. I- I want you to attack- France with your forces, not dumb shit. So, attack France. Okay. 
Okay, can I, like, um, universally just give them all back? Okay, let's give those back. Let's pause the game, because we have to give all of retarded Spain's troops back. Okay, return it. Return it. Oh, this is so fucking tedious. Why did they give me their fucking troops? Like, well, obviously, like, because I'm making good military choices, but I don't want their their troops. Okay. The Japanese have brought troops into Republican Spain. Phenomenal. Okay. Wow, we have a minor revolution on, on our hands. What is this? Spain armor. I don't... Fuck! They're... They're just everywhere, and I don't want that. Okay, so we're not at 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 peace, but we're not like really, you know. Even if France holds all all of Africa, they're gonna give me a peace deal, which is why I pulled all, all of my troops out of their territory, because I don't want a repeat of last time when I lost all of those territories. Okay, so I control the vast ma majority of Europe's. Uh, well, everything. So let's give this back to them, because I don't want it. Okay. Now let's put all of our units on the Soviet border, because that is number two. That is going to be the attack point number two. Okay. As a democracy, they don't want to join us unless we have, you know, enough stuff. Which, we have a lot of stuff, but that's not important. Okay. Um, let's see here. Sir Dudley Pound. Yeah, we're fucking smoking everything. And there's France's next uh, peace offering, so we will just accept it, and I'm going to make them re-ally us. Um, let's see, they, they gave us most of Africa. Most of, most of Africa. Um, they gave us part of the Maginot line and they gave us most of most of, of Germany back so France bring to alliance you know what screw you France stop being retarded all <laughs> accept all let's not play let, let's not play games France I know that you love me accept all turn now and turn that off I'm just having fun fun with this playthrough Okay, let's pop that back out so I know that I'm still recording. Okay, Switzerland. Nobody's defending Switzerland anymore. Aww. I, don't, I still don't want Switzerland, though. Okay, let us actually draw a line in the sand right here. Actually, no, let's draw it right here. On the shortest possible line of provinces there we go we'll let that and the first two that we had down there Constanta and fuck I fucking hate that where it brings you back up to um, to, the, uh, to the top all right so being that we are at peace again, we have a large amount of manpower being being brought in. Um, oh well, they didn't actually you know turn everything over to the Japanese. Okay, let's order them to invade communist China because communism. Oh, and that's gonna suck. You know why? Because we just lost our. Um, overseas manpower, so we lost a, a very large ton. Right. Austria wants to give us the basic hospital. Netherlands, the same thing. Holy crap, time out, time out, time out, time out. We need to get our industry here back on track. Let's, uh, Anglo-Iranian company, supermarine, aircraft, um... We need the practical turbojet engine. Let's get Messerschmitt. 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 Oh, Werner von Braun will handle it. Leave it to, to Werner von Braun. Okay. Mauser. Let's 
finally, for, for fuck's sake, let's try to get some more tech. Um, Porsche. Let's make them do the heavy tanks. <laughs> the Matilda Mark II. Oh, gosh. They're actually considering that to be a heavy tank. Yes, it's a ridiculously heavy tank. But realistically, yeah. Okay, so we have a bunch of new tech all going on. The basic motorized div division is going to be done very, very soon. So, well, there is that. Okay, what can we do as far as hawk lobbyism? Um, I'm going to want to continue to push my... Uh, to push the British to national socialism. Not only is it the right thing to do, but it's a good theory that the British would want to be Nazis. It's good theory, because they did, they did uh, quite literally um, uh, kick their ass, so... It's a theory. A game theory. I fucking love game theory. Oh my god, that, that channel's so fucking sexy. Okay. Okay, so we have a ton of, of organization going on here. Um, long story short, we're going to freaking stomp these guys. Um... I know for a fact that we have better uh, um, technology than the Russians do, and I also know that um, our units have more experience in, in actual combat, so I'm going to make the South a defensive line, as I usually do when I invade Russia, and I'm going to put the majority of my units in the North, where most of the press, most of the push is going to be coming from. Okay, we'll move that up to the north, move these infantry. And it, it will allow the uh, the uh, tanks and otherwise to break out if they need to. Okay. Alright, let's place these. Hmm. I cheated. <laughs> okay. Okay, Major General Jones, Major General Blair. Okay, more tanks because it's the wave of the future. I don't even know what the unit stats on, um, on heavier armor are because, I mean, most of the time a tier 5 tank is the end-all be-all of what you need. Okay, Christy Miller, let's promote him to a general because he's a logistics general. Um, Sheffield. Let's move these troops over. We have so, so many tanks. Okay. Major General MacDonald. Logistics Wizard, Grant CJC. I don't know if that's a real name or of a real general, but I mean it could be. There's a, there's a lot of generals in this game. <laughs> okay, obviously we have. Um, I'm going to have to push very very hard on the Soviet Union because, um, yeah, victory is going to come at come at the cost of a lot of a lot of uh, oil. So, all right, all right. Let's make this guy a general. And what else do we have? Alright, we have three tanks there that are, like, basically backups. Okay. Let's move everything to the coast. Where's my fleet at? There we go. And let's go. Alright, let's move the ships on board, or the tanks on board, and we'll cross them right over. There we go. It's working out great. See, this crossing the English Channel directly into France is a little bit overpowered, but pff, the, com the computer is not really uh, um, complaining, so not, not like they, they even can. <laughs> All right. All right. Looks like our infantries are moving around. They're, they're spreading themselves out a little bit. Um... Ah, we're building land forts there and we don't need to. Oh well. 
Actually, yeah, let's build the land fort there. All right, I'm going to cancel that, that, that construction. When I come back, we will invade the Soviet Union.